You scratch my beak, I'll scratch yours. That must be the unspoken credo of the northern bald ibis and its flocking habits. Like many birds, ibis fly in the V formation we've all seen pass above us. The V is a natural lesson in aerodynamics. Each trailing bird rides in the slipstream of the bird in front of it, stealing a bit of lift from the forward position flyer. That sounds a little unfair to the poor guy up in front, doesn't it? By fitting individual birds in a flying phalanx with GPS devices, a University of Oxford research team discovered the answer and, in the process, bolstered a 44-year-old theory. Back in 1971, Robert Trivers, then at Harvard, coined a new term for a kind of apparently selfless interaction in organisms, reciprocal altruism. Altruistic behavior involves aiding another creature while incurring some cost to oneself. That would be a considerable sacrifice for the aforementioned lead ibis dragging all the feathered freeloaders behind him. But in most cases of reciprocal altruism, there's a tit-for-tat dynamic in which the organism receiving the aid returns the favor. The Oxford team says it believes the ibis is a rare example of this phenomenon. While flying in the V formation, a trailing ibis will, in the space of seconds, switch places with the bird in front of it, never allowing too much work to be one bird's responsibility. The team noted that this action seems to happen in pairs, as trying to pull a flock-wide flip is likely untenable. Other examples of reciprocal altruism in nature include some birds which warn each other for nearby predators and vampire bats which sometimes regurgitate their blood dinners to feed less lucky hunters. Ah! In the ibis, the flying birds seem to help one another regardless of familial connection, making them a rare new addition to Trivers' reciprocal roster.